It is like I just pulled everything that I always see but never pick up at the thrift store and then put it in the box. Very sad. Stretchy, stretchy. Oh my gosh, guys. Yikes. Hey everyone, it's Allie and welcome to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I am trying out a new online wholesale company. There's not a lot of videos on this company yet, so hopefully I can provide you guys with some enlightenment to see if this is a company worth buying from, but it's called America's Thrift Supply. And like I said, it is an online wholesale store in that you can go on there and you can buy what I got, which is called a micro bale, 100 pounds of clothing. I got the 100 pounds of denim. They also have some smaller boxes. So very, very similar to my favorite online store, ThreadUp, in many ways. And I'm hoping that this company is one that I will be able to purchase from in the future. Hopefully this goes pretty well. So yeah, they. They have a variety of boxes, but when I went on their website, pretty much everything was sold out. But I was eager to give the denim box a try because ThreadUp only has the DIY denim, where they're saying most of the denim that is in their box is damaged in some way or lightly used or whatever. But America's Thrift Supply is saying that all of this denim is either grade A or grade B, basically either in really good condition or like very lightly used. So I like that more than taking on DIY projects personally. So this online company, America's Thrift Supply, is associated with the in-store America's Thrift Store, which I believe is a chain of thrift stores in the South. And that's pretty cool for me being up here in Ohio. We don't have any of these thrift stores. So it's kind of a way to get their inventory without having to go to the South. But all right, you guys, this is going to be quite a long video. I'm going to go ahead and put up the cost of goods for all the items. Of course, I don't know how many pairs of jeans or denim or whatever I am getting, but I will let you know right now just so you can kind of have that in your head as we go through the video. I will very likely split this into two videos because it's 8 o'clock right now, actually like 8.30 at night. I don't think I'm going to have the energy to get through an entire box of denim, but I'll definitely try to do about half in this video, but I'll put some clips up of what this box looks like because it is massive. It is such a big box. I'm grateful to have my husband because he was the one who dragged it in here. I don't think I could have done it. But make sure you grab yourself a snack, get yourself a drink because this is going to be quite a video. Okay, we're going to switch it up a little bit. I'm actually going to stand at least for this first video or for at least part of this first video because this is how tall this box is. I'm 5'9", so you can see quite big. But okay, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I can see right off the bat that they still actually have the tags from the thrift store. So it's like they just pulled everything that didn't sell. And I feel like this thrift store is pretty dang expensive because they wanted $10 for some Talbot jeans, which I personally think is pretty expensive. But these are a size two, they are petite stretch. Very basic pair of jeans here, nothing too crazy going on, but do appear to be in good shape. So I guess I'll make a pile of like things I'm definitely gonna sell, things I need to think about, and then things like for sure not. And this is one that'll probably go on the like, I need to think about it because I know it would sell eventually, but I'm not that excited about Talbots, you know. I think these are no boundary jeans. It's super, super faded on the inside. So right off the bat, I probably will say that I am not gonna list these. They are in decent condition other than the tag being super worn. But yeah, I do not think that these will be worth it personally for me. These are from a brand called Westport, which I don't know that brand. It definitely doesn't look very new, but they are high-waisted, I think, and they are a little bit worn, but not too bad. Definitely like no staining or anything like that. So this will go in the maybe pile because I will have to kind of look that up and see if that is anything, but I don't think so. Man, they shoved this stuff in here so hard. I have to be like, <laughs> got some Levi's here, the modern boot cut. Again, like some of the other ones so far, the tag is kind of worn on the inside but the jeans themselves seem to be okay. I feel like bootcut is just like not really a seller. I have a hard time selling bootcuts. So <laughs> I don't know. This will probably go in the maybe. Nothing really good so far, but we've 
Barely got into it. Nice, just made a sale. Always nice to sell things as you're opening more stuff. Gloria Vanderbilt, yeah, not a pair of jeans that I get excited about. I think we all have so much Gloria Vanderbilt at the thrift store that I'm like, Who's buying it? Who bought it in the first place? Because I feel like I don't know anybody that wears it. These are a decent size and a size eight. They are the Amanda Cut. And I mean, yeah, the denim themselves is not too bad. Probably gonna be like a straight up no for me. Give me something good. This is a workout. Some more Levi's, 515 boot cut. Size 12 long. Uh, I would never pick these up in the thrift store. That's where I'm struggling right now because I don't want to list things that I wouldn't probably pick up because I don't want to just have a bunch of inventory that I'm not interested in. That's a maybe. That's a maybe. These are Liz Claiborne, the Hepburn cut. Um, I will probably list these. Again, we'll kind of see what else I get in the box, but this is probably the most interesting to me so far. I see some more Gloria Vanderbilt. Oh gosh, guys, I really hope the whole box isn't going to be a bunch of these kind of brands. These are a size 12 light wash jeans uh yeah i'm just not interested in gloria vanderbilt got some old navy ultra blue definitely the brand i've pretty much been most excited about so far these are a size eight i do get excited about levi's by the way just the cuts that i got were not too great so these have two button detail and also appear to be kind of actually more like a flare so i like that so i will definitely go ahead and sell those i'll probably get you know 18 to 20, I'm very happy with that. But so far, everything really has been in fine condition. Definitely no staining. I haven't even seen any pulling. So they are honest about that, that's good. This brand I really don't like to sell. <laughs> Bandolino jeans, these are the Caroline cut. Bandolino is kind of in the same category as Gloria Vanderbilt for me. Like I literally always see it at the thrift store. I really would never pick it up, so I'm not gonna be selling these. Man, I feel like a negative Nancy already, but I was hoping for some better brands, I'll be honest. There's still a lot in here. <laughs> Arizona jeans, <laughs> size 11. Arizona, really don't pick up. I'll probably try to find like a women's shelter or something like that to donate a lot of these jeans because they are in good shape, so that's nice. But yeah, the brands are just not very good to sell. Blue Mountain, I'm not really familiar with this brand. They are size 12 though. They might be like a kind of a cool vintage brand, so I will go ahead and look this brand up. That's what that tag looks like. Definitely doesn't look super recent. So I'll put that in the maybe pile. Go with some colored denim. Got some purple. Okay, so these are some old Levi's. They are a size 12 and yeah, they're, Kind of a cool purple, so definitely, definitely the best piece we've got so far. Really like these. All right, all right. It's nice to have something solid in the I'm gonna sell it pile. Oh my gosh, guys. Yikes. Tommy Hilfiger, these are in a size 12. I am liking the sizes. We've had pretty much like all eight and above, right? Um, I will have to think about these, I guess. They are kind of cool. Actually, I probably will sell these. I feel like this is kind of like a back in style trend. I could see someone wearing these because they were all high-waisted with like a crop top. So I will sell these. I'll make this back here the I'm gonna sell it pile. Ann Taylor Loft, size two. These are a little bit more like trousers. They're actually pretty cute. I don't mind these. Yeah, very soft denim. So I will sell these, I think. Ah, Sonoma. Another size 12 though. So many size 12 jeans. I really don't like selling Sonoma, but the denim actually doesn't feel that bad really, but I do not think I will be selling these. Come on, come on. Give me at least some American Eagle or something. Got some Wrangler. These are kind of cute actually. I don't mind these. Everything is so, so stiff too because it was absolutely shoved into the box. But I think I will sell these actually. I think they're a cool pair of jeans. Some Lucky Brand. These are the Hayden Skinny and they are a size 8. Okay, so these are the first pair of jeans that I have actually seen some wear on really. So I don't know if you can see there is a bit of wear and pulling in some places you really wouldn't want there to be wear and pulling. So these will be a donate for sure. Lucky Brand is really hit or miss for me. Mostly miss actually, which is... <laughs> Kind of sad because I really do like Lucky Brands. I wasn't sure if there were going to be any shorts or anything or like denim jackets, but so far, nothing. Natural Reflections, another size 12. So interesting. I am not familiar with this brand personally, so I will go ahead 
and put it in the maybe and let you know <laughs> anything I find out about it. But it doesn't look like a bad pair of jeans. So more Wrangler looks like a sub brand. It says as real as Wrangler. I don't think I've ever really come across that before. Not really a super big fan of these. There is a little bit of pooling going on. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and donate them. Faded Glory, size eight. Oh man, can we get some good brands? I just don't think worth listing, you know, but they're not in bad condition at all. These are the curvy bootcut jeans. Lots of bootcut. Seventh Avenue, size 10. It's very like trouser, work pants. Just not really interested, so I will for sure pass on these. Some more Levi's, straight leg 505 jeans. These are okay, I probably will list these. I definitely wouldn't have paid like six bucks for them at the Goodwill. But one of those, since I have them, I guess I'll list them because they are a uh, nice high-waisted jean and they are straight leg, which a lot of people like to get now. Come on, come on, one good brand, one good brand. <laughs> so I think that these are Sonoma, but you can see. <laughs> how worn this is. A lot of these just seem to be really not recent at all, like pretty old denim. The denim that you quickly go through on the racks that you really never pick up. So that is a bit of a bummer. Yeah, these are a size eight short. They have the butt pocket, which I just don't really see people buying that, see people wearing that, so. Gonna donate. Kinda sad when you're really excited to see the Old Navy, <laughs> but I am excited to see the Old Navy. Cause Old Navy sells. It doesn't sell for a lot, but it will sell. This is a size 10 short. I do do pretty well with the short and long denim. Pretty basic pair. I need to find some like descriptive words for denim, <laughs> but I will go ahead and sell those. So far, the only thing that I've been like really like, oh, that's pretty good was that purple pair of Levi's. Khakis and Co, it has like a, stretchy waist situation. Um, I don't think I'm gonna list these. Yeah, just not my personal vibe. Some Gap Factory, kind of sad too when I'm like, oh, Gap Factory, that's not too bad. <laughs> these are a size 10. I will list these for sure, because these are like a wider kind of trouser leg, which I have been pretty successful with in the past. Um, I'm not sure what this brand is. It's pretty worn, but I don't think I'm gonna list it. They are just kind of like some black jeggings. Don't think people are really looking for jeggings too much anymore and the tag is really worn. So not like it's in like new condition or anything. Some Riders by Lee, mid-rise, boot cut. Man, you guys, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm being so negative. I just wanna be really honest about what I am and I'm not gonna list. And I just really don't wanna list a lot of this denim, including these, I'm sorry, you're not terrible. I just don't wanna list you. Yeah, I'm trying to be really good with these mystery boxes from whatever company I buy from. Like if I would not pick it up at the thrift store, even if it was really cheap, if I wouldn't have picked it up, I don't really wanna list it, basically. So hopefully this ends up being worth it. $188 sounded really good, but if I'm only listing, not too much. Yeah, it becomes a lot less good. Like, yeah. Another pair of Sonoma. I will be honest, I was expecting brands like this, but I was expecting other brands, like maybe more expensive brands that didn't sell because of their price. But it kind of seems like they are just giving all the denim that sits there forever that nobody really buys. So that is a little bit of a bummer. Hopefully the rest of the box will change my mind. But so far, I wouldn't get this one again, I don't think. These are original straight leg denim jeans. Yeah, brand, I really don't like selling Sonoma. There really is still so much to go though. These are L Paris, finally a smaller size, which never say that, but today I'm like, wow, finally a smaller size. But these are a size four. They are a little bit more of a jegging or at least a very stretchy jean. Um, I will have to look a little bit more into that brand because I'm not really sure what the resale value is there, but if it's less than like 18, I probably won't list them. Some Universal Thread, getting pretty excited about Target here. Yeah, just a great pair of black, high-waisted jeans, a little bit of wear in the front. I think I'll have to take a closer look later, but definitely we'll list these. I'm fading, guys. I'm tired, but I have to find something good. No idea what this brand is. The name is super worn, <laughs> but they are like really low-rise, size two. And I know low-rise is supposed to be back, but 
Yeah, I'm gonna stick with my high rise for the most part. Loft outlet, size 10, curvy skinny. Very solid, I will definitely sell these. Look to be high-waisted, definitely very solid pair of jeans. If more of the rest were like this, I would be very happy. Time and true, <laughs> Walmart. Size 10, high-rise boot cut. I like that it's a size 10, I like that it's high-rise. I don't know. <laughs> Me debating on Walmart, I don't know. I feel like, is brown still in style for the fall? I know it was like a really hot color to wear last year. I might put this in the maybe. I'm gonna put this in the maybe, we'll see. I know it's Walmart, but we'll see. Hannah, I've never heard of that. Size eight. This style of denim, I'm not sure where it's called, where it almost looks like really stripy. I feel like that has not been in for a very long time, so I'm guessing that these are quite old, but I will put them in the maybe just to double check that brand, but I don't think I'll be listing those. So far though, I really can't complain because the company gave me what they said they were gonna give me and that everything is in either very good or like very lightly used condition. Had no guarantee on brands or anything, but did kind of hope there'd be a little bit of a better mix. Kato Premium, brand I really don't pick up. There is a little bit of pooling going on in the front and again, just seem old, oh, that's been the theme. I feel like a lot of these <laughs> jeans are vintage, but like not in a good way. <laughs> Another pair of these L jeans, size 10. These are actually pretty cute. I will, again, double check with the brand to make sure it is worth it at all. But I have a very good feeling I'll sell these. They're more of like a trouser, wide leg style. Definitely in still. Let's just go ahead and put it in and then we'll sell it. I'm gonna sell them. Uh, Raffaella, you were missing from the party of jeans I always see, but never pick up. <laughs> size eight. Yeah, I'm not gonna sell these ones. Some more Bandolino. Oh my gosh. It is like I just pulled everything that I always see but never pick up at the thrift store and then put it in the box. Very sad. Stretchy, stretchy. Um, yeah, not even a brand on these. Some Lee jeans in a size 10. High-waisted, pretty rigid pair of denim. Again, not bad, but the resale value is really not good. Some Levi's, these are a size four, mid-rise straight. I will probably sell these. I have to look at the tag and see what year this would be from. I don't recognize this tag. So yeah, there is that one. I don't believe I've ever seen that before. I will go ahead and sell them. Some Morley, these are a size eight. These are kind of a cute cut though. They're nice and high-waisted, like the light wash mom jean kind of style. So I don't know, me debating on Lee, I don't know. <laughs> I'll put it in the maybe for now. Okay, I'm giving myself five more minutes. I gotta find something good for this first video. French dressing. <laughs> I don't know that brand. These are a size 10. Yeah, I'm actually kind of excited to look that up, but I like that it does not have butt pockets. I actually really like jeans that don't have butt pockets, so I might try these on for myself, we'll see. But I'll look up that brand. LEI, yeah, I just really don't sell this brand. They are size 11. Kind of funky with that like button detail <laughs> on the side there. But yeah, I think just not for me. Ooh, guys, this is kind of a killer. I'm gonna be honest. Some more Levi's boot cut, size 10 long. I'm just really not like excited about the Levi's boot cut because I think I had a couple pairs from like the DIY denim that were sitting in my Poshmark closet forever and I literally literally like ended up letting them go for like five or six bucks because I just wanted them gone after they were sitting. Levi's Perfect Waist Boot Cut. These are a size 12. <laughs> 12 is the number and I will say that's like definitely one of my favorite sizes to sell like 12, 14, 16. Absolutely excellent. So I would much rather have a bunch of 12s than a bunch of twos. And of course I was about to be like, yes, I'm gonna go ahead and sell them. I think they are a little bit damaged. There's like some distressing going on right there. I'm not sure if that is supposed to be that way. Actually, it looks like, yeah, because the butt pockets have a little bit of distressing as well. So I will go ahead and sell those. Let this be the year boot cut comes back. Okay, three more pairs and then I will save it for the next video. Style & Co, straight leg. These are a size 12. What the heck, did they just like take the whole size 12 rack and put it in my box? Yeah, I will actually double check. I just assume Style & Co doesn't resell for very much, but I will give it a double check because these are in great shape and they are a good style. Levi's Curvy Straight. These are, guess, a size 12. <laughs> um, these have some pulling, so yeah, 
I don't think I am gonna be selling these. It is a bummer. I don't think I would have got a lot for them, but I would have sold them if they were in pretty dang good condition. Okay, last pair of jeans for this video. We got some pretty worn Old Navy sweetheart jeans. These are a size four. Yeah, I think I'm not gonna list these. If they were like in like new condition, I would, but I don't think I will. Well, all right guys, that was the first half of this box. I want to be positive in these videos, but so far I would really not recommend this box unless you don't mind selling a lot of the brands that I have been showing you. They really just are the brands that I very much pass on at the thrift store. And while I'm sure I could get a couple bucks out of a lot of them, it just really won't be worth my time to list them. And I would rather just donate them and kind of count this box as a learning experience. But so far I am still happy with the company. Like I said before, they did give me what they said they were gonna give me. Cause really everything has been pretty decent condition for the most part or very lightly worn. Hoping for a miracle in the second half of the box. Hoping for some good brands. I thought it would be a mix. I thought I'd be getting some good ones, some bad ones and some in the middle, but mostly it's just been the bad ones. <laughs> but definitely stay tuned for my next video where I will open the second half of the box who knows? Maybe something good will be in there. But as of right now, I would, yeah, not recommend. But if you like this video, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. It really does help my channel out a lot. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.